Hello again. This is Sheila Balgobin, and I am known as the Dream Decipherer. And in this mini series, we've been looking at the different types of dreams. In this episode, we will be looking at creative or problem solving dreams. Now, if you've watched the introduction to this mini series, you will have heard the different things that have been created or invented as a result of dreams. And in fact, I can tell you that this mini series is the result of my own dreams, um, telling me to actually share this information with others so that the people can understand how dreams can be used to grow or enhance their business. So there you have it, a prime example of how you can use your dreams in business. But let's take now, turn our attention to problem solving and creative dreams. Uh, there are a number of things that have been invented and created, and I've mentioned some of them, like sewing machines, the DNA, double helix, E equals MC squared, the novel Frankenstein, et cetera, have been created on the back of dreams. And it was Freud who actually said that dreams are the royal road to the unconscious. Now, you can liken the unconscious to this vast ocean that's deep and broad and wide and contains the sum, total sum knowledge, not just within you, but within the wider universe, um, tapping into that collective unconscious, a collective memory that, that all humans share. Our conscious mind, however, is considered to be like an, a little cork bobbing on this vast ocean of information. And when we tap into that vast ocean, we can affect great changes in the in our, not just our inner world, but the outer world. So what um, can how can creative or, or problem solving dreams help in in developing or growing your business? Well, Think of it this way. You've got a, a really thorny problem with a client or you need to develop a new process or a new product to grow your business. It's often when we relax our minds and let, uh, let inspiration flow through us that the, our unconscious mind will work on the solution in the background, sort of like a subroutine on, a, on your laptop. And when it comes up with a solution or an idea, it will float it up. Sometimes it happens when we're awake. More likely, it will happen when we're asleep because we're not distracted with the what I call the tables and chairs of daily existence and getting on with, with running a business or running our lives. So... It could be that that you know you've got a product and something in it is not quite clicking and it's not quite right. That dream can help you perhaps to find that missing puzzle piece that will make it all fit together so that you can launch this product. Or maybe there's something that you've missed with regard to the uh, to the uh, marketing of your pro your product. A dream can help you with that as well. So dreams can be a means of being able to uh, not only come up with new ideas, something that, that um, you can put your own stamp on, even if it's somebody, an, an idea that has been brought to light before, but you will put your own energy and your own stamp into it and create something entirely new. Or it could be maybe to make improvements on what is already in existence. But the, the possibilities become expanded because you're tapping into that deeper, wider wisdom rather than your own conscious mind that says the part of us that says I. Because, like I said, that's just a little cork bobbing on the vast ocean of our unconscious. And if you think that that doesn't work, it certainly does. Um, one client of mine some time ago posed a question in her dream, and she got the answer, believe it or not, not even from herself, she got it from her husband, who the next day said something that clicked. And it was like, ah, that's exactly what I was looking for. That's exactly what I needed. So our dreams alert us to the possibilities, 
but it could be while we we're awake and walking around that somebody says something or we read something or we hear something on television or a stranger says something that that triggers the not only that the memory of the dream but triggers a solution a, a a perspective that can help move things forward so that's uh my take on creative um and problem solving dreams and i wonder if how many things have have passed you by because you weren't paying attention to your own dreams now if you have a particular dream that you would like uh, some assistance with i offer a free mini consultation to give you clues and tips on how to approach your dream to pull out the information contained in it but if you're really serious about working with your dreams and and grabbing the gold in the gobbledygook of your dreams then i offer a 6 week course that helps you to manifest remember and interpret your dreams to great effectiveness so that you yourself will understand your dreams and in essence it's only the person dreaming who can understand a dream and the reason why because it comes from them and it is about them and the symbols in their dreams are actually pertinent to them in their lives so a dream book is largely uninteresting or or largely unhelpful for the simple reason that it doesn't take into account that maybe you've had a you know you're on the outs with your partner your teenagers are driving you mad and you've always wanted to to be um a movie star or a ballerina dream books can't take into the account all of those things but your own unconscious can thank you so much for watching and listening and in the next episode we will be looking at dreams that i call big medicine dreams and how they can impact your life and your business take care and i'll see you again soon bye bye